questions. Hi, this is Wei Wang from Hortonworks. You are watching the Cube. Hi, this is Chris Devaney from Data Robot. My name is Nenshad Bardoliwala. I'm the co-founder and chief product officer of Paxata. Hi, this is Wei Wang from Hortonworks. Hi, my name is Amit Walia. I'm the executive vice president and chief product officer at Informatica. Hi, my name is Hrithika Gunner. I'm the vice president of data and analytics at IBM. And you're watching the Cube. You're watching the Cube. You're watching the Cube. You are watching the Cube. You're watching the Cube. Las Vegas, it's The Cube, covering EMC World 2016, brought to you by EMC. And welcome back inside The Cube, along with Stu Miniman, I'm John Walls, we're here at the Sands Expo as EMC World 2016 continues, and our Cube coverage continues with that as well here on this Tuesday. We're now joined by Yan Bing Lee, who is a SVP and GM of Storage and Availability Business Unit mm -hmm. at VMware, and uh, Yan Bing, thanks for being with us. Uh, uh, first time around The Cube, and uh, one of Business Insider's top, most powerful women <laughs> in engineering in the world. High okay. praise. So. Uh, tell us a little bit, because it is first time, a little bit about your career path, if you will, just to okay. share with uh, our viewers a little bit of your history and, and how you've wound up at VMware. Love to do that. I, um, you know, I've always watched your program, so really excited to be here for the first time. Um, I have been with VMware for eight years, uh, eight and a half actually, so uh, done a lots of different things. And the interesting part of my involvement with VMware is I started uh, in a company's headquarters in Palo Alto, uh, but I had the opportunity to move to China and really started our China operation uh, for R&D, um, a big part of that, and came back uh, two and a half years ago, and I have been uh, part of the storage VU uh, since then, and it's all about you know storage for me now. And and the fact that you're I mean your storage and availability I mean yeah. you're wearing a couple of different hats there yes. and and I assume <laughs> I mean do you split your time down the middle or how do you, how do you balance that because they're very distinctive mm -hmm. uh, offerings right I you know storage and availability they do go uh, hands in hand um, you know if I look at our portfolio in the business unit uh, we have one area that's all about vSphere storage you know making the best storage stack for for vSphere. And that has been there for you know since the very beginning of vSphere. And the other element is uh, virtual sand. This is our entry into uh, uh, everything about hyperconverged infrastructure and how to enable that exciting new growth segment. And then there is a portfolio uh, that's around availability. You know we have product like Site Recovery Manager, who's been uh, which has been very successfully adopted. Uh, but increasingly, we're also pivoting a lot of our availability portfolio to provide capability for virtual SAM. So, um, yeah. so uh -huh. you know, I wonder if you could take us back a little bit because okay. you know, VMware's always had right, some of the storage functionality. I yeah. mean, you know, HA, DRS, SRM, yeah. all those wonderful uh -huh. things. And you know, we, we've tracked at Wikibon for years how mm -hmm. VMware and the storage industry go together. Right. Um, but we, we actually said, uh, when we did our first research on what we call server SAN, which mm -hmm. is kind of the hyperconverged space, we said, and the most important thing is, you know, VMware, yeah. really becomes a storage player. You mm -hmm. know, not just some of the supports and in part of the ecosystem, but yeah. you know, you're a storage player and you're, you're you know, you're mm -hmm. making good moves in that space. So, can you talk a little bit about that, that, that pivot uh -huh. and how that you've been yeah. through, through all that? So, you know, Stu, we love your Wikibon research. I, you Thank know, you. I yeah. used your beautiful chart of... We've got to have her back more yeah. often, Stu. <laughs> this is fantastic. How yeah. your, you know, yeah. uh, the movement around traditional storage and the rise of server sand for both, you know, hyperscale use case or the enterprise use case. I think that's really the fundamental assumption that we've made uh, in pivoting our business. Certainly, you know, with, um, I, I think even though we talk about software defined, a lot of the software defined is really fueled by hardware innovation. You know, with Flash becoming, you know, so um, high in capacity, you know, so affordable in terms of the economics, you know, faster interconnect that connected to the server. So now there is a, you know, suddenly a disruption that's happening in the storage space where you just put Flash storage next to your server and you have really capable 
um, a solution for, for storage. And so, so I really think that's a foundation for the rise of the server sand based architecture. And when it's about server, you know, who is a good player well positioned to tap into that? You know, certainly that's, uh, you know, VMware, we, given our success in virtualizing server, we feel this is a great uh, adjacency we can uh, get into. And certainly with our product, uh, Virtual Sand, on the market for, for two years and gaining amazing customer traction, you know, that's really a validation of uh, you know, how well VMware is positioned being part of that, that pivot. Okay, mm -hmm. so bring us up to speed mm -hmm. then. So, yeah. uh, you know, vSAN, mm -hmm. uh, when mm -hmm. it came out, you know, we said mm -hmm. very important, really interesting, we mm -hmm. called it the raising the tide that was going to get mm -hmm. everybody talking about hyperconverged. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I, I remember, uh, gosh, I think it was two years ago at VMworld, I yeah. went like every booth, it's like, you know, yeah. hyperconverged mm -hmm. infrastructure, it's all uh -huh. over the place in everybody's word, but right. uh, there were things that you had to get in the core functionality and enhancements, uh -huh. uh, so bring us up to w where we are with the product today. Yeah, I'd uh, love to do that. I think uh, one of the uh, good thing we're doing with our engineering is we're really accelerating the innovation. Um, the product was shipped uh, two years ago, you know, 1.0. It took us a few years to, to get that, you know, out, uh, out of the door. Uh, but we've been accelerating, you know, it took us one year to get 2.0 out of the door, and it took us six months uh, each to get 3.0 and 4.0, and we will be on a six months uh, innovation and release cadence. So really exciting uh, time to see you know, how our engineering team is uh, uh, keeping all of that up. And with our uh, you know, fourth edition that's just released um, um, now almost two months ago, um, this is really the biggest product release we've done. And uh, uh, the way I see it is now we finally get all the enterprise uh, ready capabilities there and our customers are loving it. You know, with uh, the fourth edition, we've got uh, deduplication, compression, uh, rate five and six, many data efficiency features. And so, so I think with the, um, the product ready for prime time, and I think where the, the market is also ready for prime time. You know, I keep calling this year the year of HCI because customers are ready to embrace it for mainstream use cases and every vendor wants to have a piece of their pie uh, in this uh, you know, high growth market. So we're very excited to see you know, with our fourth edition and the, the customer traction, you know, how, uh, how VMware is positioned in, in this space. Can you talk uh -huh. a little bit about how you uh -huh. balance, uh, you know, it's both, it's the ecosystem. So right. you know, the storage group, you've got things yeah. like VVols working with Absolutely. all the storage partners. Yeah. Um, you've got vSAN ready nodes, um, mm -hmm. and all the competitive hi hyper-converged infrastructure right. solutions. You know, you know, the vast majority of them are mm -hmm. using, you know, VMware vSphere yeah. and their platform. So how do you balance the, you know, yeah. VMware full stack uh, mm -hmm. versus, you know, the various pieces of the ecosystem? That's a, a great question. And certainly that's sometimes what's keeping me up at night. If you think about, you know, no matter how much we love and talk about vSAN, uh, so today this is still a smaller footprint of uh, what vSphere. And even if you look at the vibrant uh, ecosystem around HCI, you know, it's still barely scratching the surface of all the virtualized workload. So I do think there is a lot of growth potential. And, but you know, that brings the importance of how we maintain the support for the broad uh, storage ecosystem for vSphere. And that's why we invested in uh, uh, effort like VVOL. And I was very excited sitting in uh, the keynote spe uh, speech this, uh, this morning. And I think both the uh, VMAX team and the VNX team really highlighted their uh, support with VVOL and their integration with vSphere. So we definitely see that we continue to uh, enable and invest in that space because you know, honestly that's where you know, most of our customers are um, having their storage environment on. Obviously we do believe HCI is going to be a very high growth uh, market segment just like you guys predicted and we're putting new investment in, um, uh, in this space. And in the HCI investment, we're also taking a fundamentally different approach from any other vendors out there. I see now there is a bit of a music chair going on. There is a pure play HCI vendors and every server vendor wants to hug their chair of their HCI solution. And we want to continue to be mutual, uh, neutral and, uh, and work with uh, all the server vendors. We work with 12 vendors providing more than 100 ready node based uh, solutions. I think that's by far the most diverse set of uh, ecosystem out there. Obviously we also have the appliance based approach 
with the joint effort with VCE through uh, VxRail, and that is also going extremely well from a customer reception point of view. So, let, <coughs> help us unpack a little bit, bring us yeah. into those customer environments. Uh -huh. What are some of the key use cases? Uh -huh. um, it's my understanding a lot of those, I mean, it, it's not, it's not usually the storage buyer that's just right. like looking at you know yeah. replacing an array. So yeah. you know, explain to us you know who's buying it, why they're buying why they're, it. Great question. So um, the typical sales trigger is when customers are looking for some sort of um, hardware refresh, whether they're refreshing their storage environment, where they're looking at refreshing their server environment, or they're doing both. So that tend to be a very good trigger for them. Hmm, let me evaluate this cool new thing called HCI. And the other type of uh, trigger that you know customer looking at vSAN is when they face storage challenges, whether it's a scaling challenge, it's a performance challenge. So, um, but in terms of use cases where customers are looking at, I think when we launched vSAN, there is a strong emphasis on uh, VDI, test dev, DR, essentially the uh, VDI and lower tier data center use cases. Uh, but that has changed fundamentally in the, in the past two years. Uh, actually today, the most frequently requested use case uh, for vSAN is business critical use case in the data center. So it's a lot of your you know, OLTP type of workload, there's uh, the Microsoft SharePoint, um, uh, Exchange, et cetera, and um, SAP and Oracle Rack. So we're very excited to see um, that move to, to really you know, the customer believing in the value of uh, hyperconverge and using that to you know, a vast majority of data center workload. So this is why I'm calling it, it's really starting to go in mainstream, uh, because it's gone from just a niche set of use cases now going fairly broad. Yeah, that, that's uh -huh. uh, tr tremendous you know, progress really fast. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, we, we were talking to John yeah. Martin about, yeah. you know, from the early mm -hmm. days of virtualization, what applications mm -hmm. can I, can I virtualize? Right. Um, do you see customers, I mean, are they, you know, it's the old term, sweep the floor, you know, mm -hmm. when I do my refresh, is, right. is vSAN my infrastructure for the entire data center? Uh, we have actually seen that, you know, one of the customer who uh, was a reference in our um, Q4 earnings release, um, so this is a large U.S. retailer. They started uh, vSAN with a million dollars of you know, software license of vSAN alone in 2014, and that's quite a lot of licenses. And they essentially deployed that in all of their retail location and claiming they're saving roughly you know, $5,000 per you know, cost per store. And they like it so much, they're now moving it to, into a data center, so they acquired uh, another multi-million dollars of vSAN at the end of uh, uh, 2015, and really trying to apply that to uh, their entire uh, data center. And so, so we're seeing this type of uh, land and expand motion playing out very nicely, just like early days of vSphere. And you know, the way I'm excited about this is, you know, vSAN is very disruptive in its nature. You know, how is doing storage fundamentally differently, but it's how non-disruptive it is in customer adopting it. You know, you can start with just a few nodes as you're doing your refresh of maybe a small part of your environment, and uh, as customers start to get used to it and love it, they expand more. You know, we have customers buying every month as if they're on drugs. I said, that's, you know, that's, that's what we want to see. And, uh, and this is just also mirrors the pattern of uh, you know, how VMware's customers adopted vSphere. So we're very excited about you know, that, uh, that correlation. You know, and, uh -huh. and letting them wade in like that, uh -huh. tip a toe in the water, maybe go a little bit deeper, a little bit yeah. deeper. I mean, do you find that the receptivity increases or there's an exponential gain of some type there? Because mm -hmm. once you put it into practice for yourself, you realize uh -huh. that there is more. And, yeah. and like that drug, if you will, um, yeah. there, 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 perhaps there's a greater benefit for the enterprise. Yeah, I, I definitely think uh, you know, customers are seeing that uh, benefit. You know, a lot of the time there is this misconception of, oh, you're buying a new software, it must be expensive because we're, I'm paying more for, uh, uh, for new licenses. Um, but as customers look at the, you know, the, the comparisons of total cost of ownership of the entire hardware the software stack versus the old way of them doing storage and server virtualization, I think the, uh, uh, the TCO value proposition tend to be very compelling. And then they realize, boy, this thing not only is um, is cheaper, it's also simpler. Because again, you know, the simplicity of uh, you know vSphere admin manage everything, 
in a single pane of glass through vSphere and vCenter. So rather than you know the, the the complexity of managing your compute and storage separately. So so simplicity now is becoming kind of the number one reason where customer claim they love uh, vSAN is you know it's simple to use and it's simple to scale out. You know anytime you want more capacity, you just add another node. So it's very you know, this is totally disruption in a very non-disruptive fashion yeah. from a usage, uh, user experience point of view. Seems like they don't really go together, yeah. but they do. You know. <laughs> uh, kind of the yeah. elephant in the room uh -huh. this week, obviously, uh -huh. is you know what's happening in terms of the big picture here at Dell and EMC. Okay. Uh, your, uh -huh. you know, your thoughts, uh, you're, uh -huh. you've got a pretty good seat of what's going on right now, yeah. pretty good observations on um, that. What do you think? I'm, I'm excited, I'm excited. The, um, so certainly our relationship with CMC um, was the launch of VxRail and the fact that we both ended, you know, uh, the first quarter of the year was amazing success in both business. I, I think it really validated the strengths of vSAN as a common software, enabling both the uh, the software consumption model as well as the appliance consumption model. So, so we're doing uh, very well together with uh, VCE, and I see that carry forward with the integration with Dell, because you know Dell with their experience with other HCI vendors. I think they're a big believer in the success of HCI and the value of HCI. And they're also a vendor that know how to sell this thing. So I'm excited about you know, what, uh, what's in the future for us together. So uh, uh, Michael has been paying personal attention to how we're doing in our business, and we're very excited to to see you know uh, you know all these possibilities of uh, how our product get integrated better and how we uh, unleash the power of our joint uh, go-to-market machine together. So I can't wait. Great. Well, yeah. thank you for being with us. Uh, we certainly appreciate the time, and uh, uh, I think the Twitter handle um, because we talk about blending high tech and high heels. Uh, <laughs> your Twitter handle is okay. Yeah, YB High Heels. YB yeah. High Heels, right. So. Yeah, so that's uh, very authentic right, to right. Uh, who I am. Yeah. They do okay. match. All right. Okay. Yeah, I mean, thanks for being with All us. All right, thank we you so much, uh, uh, both, and uh, great to be here. Great, good, thank you. Uh, we'll be back with more from the Sands Expo here in Las Vegas, uh, The Cube, covering EMC World 2016.